Let's talk about the Eagles' pass rush, which has really come alive the last couple weeks. They've been phenomenal uh, up front, getting pressure on the passer, sacks, bad decisions. We've seen it all. Let's take a look at the Giants game where the Eagles got seven sacks. And they were going against a pair of highly drafted tackles. We've got left tackle Andrew Thomas, who is a very good player, and then right tackle Evan Neal, who was taken with the top five selection this year. They're both going to want to forget this game. This is the first sack on the opening drive. This is going to be Josh Sweat coming off the edge against Andrew Thomas. And just watch on this play. Just watch him fire off of the edge and bend around this corner. Gets around the corner, gets to the quarterback. That's just an impressive sack here. Impressive get off of the ball, uh, getting the edge on a pretty on a really good left tackle and brings down Daniel Jones for the sack. Now let's take a look at this one. This time it's going to be Hassan Reddick. Uh, off of the other side he's going to start to go outside and he comes back inside on Andrew Thomas and he's going to get the sack and this is a really important play that stop versus fields gets to Jones Uh, again just watch this movie he starts to rush the edge he threatens the edge puts on the brakes boom back inside it's never good uh, when you're an offensive tackle and you're in this position with your back to the line of scrimmage if you can look your quarterback in the eyes something went terribly wrong Uh, And this is a huge sack. Now, why is this such a huge sack? Let's take a look at the all 22 view here from the sideline. And I want you to watch up here. The Eagles are spinning into an inverted cover three. Uh, This is going to be a deep zone. And Slay has a deep zone down here. And this is James Bradbury. Watch Bradbury. He is going to bite on a double move. This is an easy touchdown. Easy touchdown on the opening drive for the Giants if this pressure isn't here. Just watch it. Right here, boom, he bites on the double move. If that ball can come out right now, if Daniel Jones has a pocket, this is a touchdown, and the Giants go up 7-0 to zero at the start of this game. But it doesn't happen because of a pass rush. Pass rush and coverage are so important in how they work together. The coverage allows the pass rush to get sacks. The pass rush makes the coverage work better. Uh, it, it all just works great. Now let's watch this next one. This time it's going to be Redick again. He's going to be off the edge, and he's not the one that gets the sack, but we get pressure from this side collapsing the pocket, and it's going to force it into Fletcher Cox up the middle. So off the edge, there's only one place for Jones to step, and it's right into Fletcher Cox for a big sack. And now let's put on the Brandon Graham highlight reel. Brandon Graham gets three sacks in this one. Uh, On this first one, he's just going to bull rush the right tackle. Just watch him bully this backwards. Boom. Just walks him right back into the quarterback sheds the block and gets the sack now if you ever wanted to you know learn a little bit more about offensive line film the biggest thing you're taught you're never supposed to shuffle backwards as a tackle once you feel yourself start to walk backwards you're supposed to hop when you hop backwards you drop your hips and you kind of sink and you drop an anchor again and neil just doesn't do that and graham just walks him right back into the quarterback this time he's going to come from the left side he's going to go against uh andrew thomas now and If you watch, he's going to just rush the edge, and he's going to double hand chop down that outside arm uh, to get the edge on Andrew Thomas. Boom, throws that arm down right off of the edge. He gets the strip sack. uh, Shades of Super Bowl 52 with the strip sack there that's recovered by the offense. And now here he is again. He's on the right side. I'm telling you, these tackles are going to have bad dreams about Brandon Graham for a long time. He just bullies the right tackle. Boom, just throws him out of the way and gets to Tyrod Taylor, who's in the game now. And then our final sack of the game, it's going to come Milton Williams. He's going to come up the middle here. You can just watch him. He defeats this one-on-one block, and boom. He just bench presses the left guard backwards. Bench presses him backwards, gets into his chest, pushes him off, uh, and then it's off to the races to go get Tyrod Taylor. The Eagles' pass rush was so good in this game. Obviously saved the touchdown that we showed. They had seven sacks, 33 pressures. They pressured Daniel Jones on 55% of his dropbacks. Brandon Graham has three sacks. He's at eight and a half now, one and a half shy uh, of hitting 10 for the first time in his career, so we can root for that. Hassan Reddick led the team in pressures with nine. Josh Sweat played good. Javon Hargrave, who's been so good the last few weeks, didn't even have a tackle in this game, and nobody noticed because the defensive line is so good. They have now eclipsed Dallas for most sacks at 49 and in ESPN's pass rush win rate metric with a 56% team pass rush win rate. This is a phenomenal pass rush that is heating up at the right time as the Eagles make a push into the playoffs. 